Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking treasuries and those 10-year note yields. Actually trading, uh, treading water here on Monday post French elections. Yeah, we saw a little move higher uh, from Friday's mark north of 2.3, but we're back below it, actually closer to two and a quarter than 2.3. And, and it really tells you this, is that after all the hype of the French elections, after all of the risk uh, flights of quality bids we've seen since the middle of April, the market's just kind of now waiting. Uh, it no longer has fear priced into it, but it does have uncertainty priced into it. And if you look at the way bonds traded today, kind of treading water, we, we, we saw that real sell-off and then a, then a quick rally. And all along, stocks were just going higher, stocks going higher. Uh, and, and that really tells you that this isn't a stock and bond trade anymore. Well, but 10 years and, and treasuries alike have, have pretty much followed the stock market. This was something a little bit different because equities really never saw much of a change. They did see a trade modestly off the high, but it didn't really change the sentiment. So treasuries right now at about two and a quarter in the 10 year, kind of hovering, waiting for something. And the one thing that we did see that was a big, uh, big mover today was volatility in the treasuries. Volatility got crushed. Uh, leading up to the weekend, there was a big bid to volatility, a big bid to insurance buying, call buying, uh, you name it, they were buying it with the idea that the what if scenario could happen and really didn't. After the French elections, things went as they should have or were expected to. And it looks to me that the, the crush in volatility uh, was not offset by a rally in rates. So rates stayed the same, volatility got crushed. And what does that really mean? It takes us to this week when we, yeah, we have a handful of Fed speakers and we have some modest economic data, but it really culminates on Friday with the GDP numbers, which are expected to be close to zero. So that's first quarter GDP opening up, opening bid at zero after 1.9 in the fourth quarter of last year. So that is going to kind of be what the what the Treasury market is looking at now. We're, all, we're about halfway through earnings season. We've gotten through this huge election. We've gotten through some major uh, geopolitical, uh, in, you know, problems that we've seen, whether in North Korea or whether in the Middle East. And now we're looking back at economic data, which is where the Treasury market should be looking. And I think this first quarter, uh, first quarter GDP could push the market and yields even lower, uh, at least for the short term. And it's really going to be a thorn in the side of the Fed because they don't, while they don't need growth to raise rates, they certainly would like it. And they would like to see an economy that's expanding, uh, not contracting or treading water. So Treasury yields right now at two and a quarter, likely on their way lower as we head into first quarter GDP on Friday. This is been Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.